I love 3D printing, but I hate the maintenance. One of the most common problems with 3D printers is the nozzle clogging. Today, I found a solution. I've, I've been wrestling recently with this problem on my Bamboo P1S, and today I found a really good solution that I'm gonna share with you. Now first, let's talk about the extruder. The extruder is this little mechanical gear system inside of your printer that pulls filament off of the spool and feeds it into the hot end of your 3D printer. The hot end is where it gets melted and it sort of squeezes it through the nozzle. I've never had this happen to me before, but just the other day, filament got jammed up inside this gear system and it was totally locked up. I couldn't push the filament through. I couldn't pull it out. It was, it was broken inside of there. I found this really helpful video. I'm gonna link it here and also in the description. This guy did an awesome job kind of walking you through step by step and I can't, I can't do better than that. So I'm just gonna refer you to this video here on how to do that if, that, if you run into that problem. Watch his video. It's a great video. I put it all back together and I still couldn't print. The same exact error message was coming up from Bamboo. And the Bamboo guides is not that helpful on how to do it. So I went back to YouTube and um, did a little bit of research. I wasn't able to find any good way to sort of rehab the nozzle issue that I was running into. Uh, let me show you how it looked and what I ended up doing. This is a hot end from a Bamboo P1S printer. Um, it comes with a fan. This is sort of a heat sink and the nozzle sits inside of this little boot here. The problem lies right here. This, as you can see, gets gummed up over time and eventually, you know, junk gets stuck inside that nozzle and it becomes a big issue. What I was running into and show you here is that issue right there. You see that right there is filament that's clogged inside that nozzle. No matter how much I've done in the past, I couldn't get that cleaned up. So how did I solve it? I did two things. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove the fan off of the hot end. This hot end, you can see, doesn't have a fan on it. It still has these little thermistors and other pieces that are connected. That's just fine, you can leave them on, but you're gonna remove the fan. Then you're gonna find a tiny little Allen key. This is, I don't even know what size it is, but it's super tiny and it's small enough to fit inside where the filament feeds into a hot end. As you can see here, I'm gonna heat this up and do, uh, I think it's called a cold pull, where you heat it up, you push it in, you let it cool off, and then you're gonna pull it out. You're gonna pull as much of that filament that's messed up in there. You're gonna pull as much of it out as you can. Let me show you how that works. So first you're gonna take your Allen key, you're going to take some propane, you're going to heat that guy up. We'll heat, her. we'll heat it until it's red hot, just like that. All right, next thing we're going to do is put it inside of our hot end, as far as we can get it to go, and we'll let it sit for two minutes. Okay, I think a couple minutes has passed. Let's see if this is ready to be pulled out. Yank. All right, so we did get a little bit out of that one. Obviously not as much out of this one as we had from the first, but nevertheless, we were able to clear a little bit of that filament out from the inside. Okay, before we go any further, I wanna pause. This is not a bamboo approved technique. In fact, I couldn't find anywhere to do this online. I just know it was helpful for me. So. Don't hurt yourself and don't expect for this to work because it may not work, it may not do the job for you, but this is just a handy tip. Now for the good stuff. So what you're gonna do next is we still need to get a lot of filament out of the remainder of this nozzle. This is where all the magic happens at the end. Uh, that's where the filament goes from this big down to this big and it squeezes it on, onto your print bed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a glove. This glove will keep my hand from getting burnt, hopefully. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our, to heat up the nozzle, and then we're gonna use this little wire brush to sort of scrub off that stuff. And as we go, be on the lookout at the very tip of this nozzle, we might get some filament to ooze out of the end. Be on the lookout for that as we go. Here we go. Start the propane and heat it up. And we'll scrub. See that filament coming out the top. Make sure 
sure you can see that, but that's what you wanted right there. Now, I don't know if it came across on the screen if you were able to hear it, but right there at the tip of that nozzle, um, there was filament kind of oozing out of the end of it. And as I was able to do it, you, I was able to sort of scrub it off with this brush. I think this little nozzle is super clean now. I'm gonna do one last thing to see if it helps us at all with this idea. This is a needle that comes with a lot of 3D printers. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna heat this guy up one last time, and I'm gonna use this to push inside of there and uh, unclog that thing a little bit better. Try it this way since it's still a little bit hot. Go. there's the rest of the filament. I was able to push it all the way out. How about that? Okay, that's it for today's video. I want to first give a shout out to two people who kind of helped me out with this. There's a video by Belly Up Fish Garage on YouTube that shows the cold pull technique that I used to pull that filament out of the out of the hot end. And then there's another guy named Tapic Digital that did a really nice job of filming and showing how to remove the extruder and remove the hot end from the printer but i would encourage you to check out his channel for videos on how to do really technical maintenance on these printers so hopefully this helps you out and you're able to maybe rehab some of your old nozzles like i was and hopefully it'll save you a little bit of money thanks for watching and we'll see you soon